Welcome to another Down the Rabbit Hole video. I'm talking about another in my Triple H series where I'm honoring handhelds. Now, I haven't done that for quite a while because I've almost run out of handhelds to talk about. And what I'm doing in this video is a little bit of a cheat. I'm actually repeating something I've already talked about. Uh, in this one I'm talking about the Bambino UFO Master Blaster. And I've actually done a video for this for Triple H already, uh, but just as a quick reminder, it's, um, it's a VFD game, and it's a lot of fun actually. You essentially just uh, shoot the um, UFOs as they come down the screen here, rack up as high of a score as you can, and uh, it's very much a, a game of its era. It's, it's fun. Um, I quite enjoy it. Now, uh, for those of you who are wondering, yeah, that's very cool. Why the heck is there a Blade Runner t-shirt in the background there? Uh, well, as I mentioned in my first video, the um, UFO Master Blaster was actually in Blade Runner. Uh, I'll put a link below to that video to remind you why Blade Runner has anything to do with this. Um, but I'm not actually specifically talking about this handheld itself in this video. You see, actually, somebody has made UFO Master Blaster for iOS, and um, this was something that I didn't know about until the actual developer of this app, he saw my video about um, the previous UFO, like the actual handheld where I talked about Blade Runner, and he messaged me in the YouTube uh, system. He said, hey, I actually made an app for iOS if you wanted to check it out. I bought it. It's, I think, 99 cents. I'll put a link below to where you can get it. It's actually a really good recreation of the game. Uh, let me just uh, quickly fire up here. So you use your thumb to slide around left and right to use the um, to move the cannon back and forth, and you just hit anywhere to fire. So it it looks like UFO Master Blaster, sounds like Master Blaster. I mean, it's it's a really good uh, version of the game. I quite like it. Sounds are accurate. It even has the slight flicker that um, VFD has, like if you, especially if you look at the score there, you can see it does sort of warble in and out uh, like a real genuine VFD game. I really, really like this. Now, um, it came out several months ago, and I hadn't really thought of talking about it. Uh, two reasons. One, um, I don't know if it's really fair for me to uh, talk about a, 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 an iOS port of a handheld game. I mean, can I do that? Is that, is that cheating? And then um, over the intervening time, I've actually found there are quite a few uh, handheld recreations on the App Store. And some of them are good and a heck of a lot cheaper than trying to find the original piece of hardware. So I thought, you know, I'm going to start maybe talking about handheld games recreated on the App Store. Because this has been my first experience of that and it's really good. Uh, now let me die. I'll take you back to the main menu. So you've got some nice options here. You've got the three different speeds that you can select just by hitting there. Um, and that's the same as the original handheld. It had three different speeds. Uh, what's really nice is it's got classic mode or endless mode, and that's a big bonus over the original hardware because the classic mode emulates exactly the way the original handheld worked. And unfortunately, because of that... Um, display at the top. It can only go up to a maximum of 99. At least in classic mode, you can go well over. In fact, you can see my high score there for uh, speed number one. I've got 314 points. That's pretty good that you can actually just keep playing because the, the problem with the original handheld sitting over there is uh, I kept maxing out at 99. I thought, well, this game doesn't have a lot of replay value. You've also got um, leaderboards here. You can leave some feedback. Um, yeah, it's really, really good now. I'll, uh, um, and the challenge is really good too. Like if I go to uh, speed number two as a one that I play the most, I'll try number three, but you'll find it's like high score at 10. It's really challenging here. Let's give it a try. My one complaint, I do find I have to hit the menu quite a few times before it'll actually load something. Here we go. All right, here we go. Let's get ready for a very short game. Let's see if I can beat 10. Probably not. Nine? Well, there you go, you see. Uh, yeah, it's quite challenging, this one. Let's try one more time. It's 
Ooh, I beat my high score. But not by much. 16. Okay, I now have a new score. Or, new high score, I should say. Yep, high score, 16. So that's pretty cool. Like, the app actually keeps track of this stuff. Now, um, again, this game did come out quite a while ago, and I had sort of thought maybe I'll talk about it, maybe I won't. But the reason I wanted to bring it up now is because now the developer has actually added in iCade support. This is my iCade Junior that I've talked about. Love this little thing. Uh, makes my iPod Touch actually a little arcade machine, which is perfect. Um, and he's just recently added the ability for you to play uh, UFO Master Blaster with iCade Junior support. And I assume if you've got a, an iPad running this thing, um, it'll work in a regular iCade. So let's, um, let's fire it up and show you what it's like. And there we go. You see, I can steer with the uh, joystick. I actually prefer it playing it this way because uh, I was finding my thumb was kind of blocking the view sometimes. And uh, this is great. I mean, now I can just sit here and it's like, I mean, I already have a Bambino Master Blaster, but if you don't, just get this app. And if you happen to have any kind of the uh, iCade devices, you can now play it as if you actually had the hardware. And again, um, if you're a big Blade Runner fan and you know where this game is showing up in the soundtrack, then uh, this would seem to be a, a must purchase for, at least in my opinion. Anyway, so yeah, I just thought I'd do a quick video to talk about the Bambino Master Blaster app that's on iOS. I'm not sure if it's on Android. If it is, I'll also put a link to that below. And yeah, check it out. It's great. And maybe I will cheat in the future and talk about a few more of these handhelds that have been converted for uh, your smartphone because a lot of them are great and a nice, I don't know, a nice alternative if uh, you don't want to keep buying these little consoles or if they're getting too expensive because there are some pretty high price tags for some of those things out there. All right, well, until next time. Oh, hang on. Darn it. <laughs> Until next time, we'll see you down the rabbit hole.